State Treasurer John Fleming says the state is headed for a financial cliff next year, but it's not a crisis. Fleming explained this week that will happen. What will happen? A 0.45 percent state sales tax expires next year. By some estimates, it could cost the state $400 million in tax revenue or more. Fleming says much of the problem can be solved by reducing waste. He adds the state's coffers are full and his office is making investments to bring additional revenue to the state. For instance, we just purchased $10 billion of Israeli bonds to help our friends in Israel uh, in their fight against terrorism. We're getting excellent return on that investment, 5.36% on those bonds, $10 million. Fleming also says the state still has more than a billion dollars in unclaimed money that belongs to residents. You can find out if you're owed money through the Louisiana Unclaimed Property Program. Go check it out. A Republican has jumped in the race for the sixth congressional seat that Garrett Graves recently said he would not run for re-election. Elbert Guillory is a familiar face to Louisiana politics and hopes to keep the seat red despite its new boundaries. Capitol reporter Shannon Hecht brings us a look into his campaign. With Congressman Garrett Graves not running for re-election for the 6th Congressional District, the seat is wide open for anyone to get into the race. And today we heard from former State Senator Elbert Guillory, who's running on the Republican ticket. Guillory is not a stranger to campaigning and state politics. He served in the Louisiana Legislature from 2007 to 2016, and he switched parties in 2013, which gained national attention. He also unsuccessfully ran for Lieutenant Governor last year. Now, despite saying that the new newly drawn congressional district is an illegal gerrymander. He wants to help Republicans keep hold of the House. There's a, a razor thin margin in that in, in Washington, D.C. If we lose this seat, we could lose the speakership and we'd be out again spending and dealing with things like abortion. He says he is running against woke criminal justice reforms and is focusing on securing the southern border. What's happening at the southern border could not be under any circumstances considered protecting our people. Guillory will go up against State Senator Cleo Fields and Quinton Anthony Anderson, who have been campaigning for the seat for months. Qualifying for this election is next week, so anyone can still get into the race. For your local election headquarters, I'm Shannon Hecht. And the annual fun political news. Well, we now know what this year's I Voted sticker looks like after it was revealed. Louisiana Secretary of State Nancy Landry and Academy Award winner William Joyce unveiled it at a ceremony at Louisiana's old governor's mansion. This year's sticker features a crawfish in a suit and a top hat. Joyce, the designer of the sticker, says, quote, while making it, I thought about how it feels to vote. For me, it feels fantastic. Louisiana residents will vote during the open primary in November.